In part two of IQ Cloud Setup, we're going to cover adding a weather source and changing a program to be an ET adjusted program. The first step is to click on Weather Sources. Here you will display all the current weather sources available. Click Add and select IQ Global Weather. Name the weather source and click Choose Location. There are a number of different ways to search for your weather source. Here are some examples. I'm going to use zip code. From the list provided, I'm going to select the one that's closest to me. You can also enter a description if you want and an elevation, but these are both optional. Then click OK. IQ will automatically pull back the last 14 days of weather data. Click OK. And at the top, you can see it pulling the information from our IQ Global Weather Service. We also support Rainbird weather stations such as WS Pro 2, Pro Light, and the Simis Network for those of you in California. Now IQ will display the ET values by day for the last 14 days and the rainfall. This rainfall can be edited as well by double clicking on the rain icon. Now that we've added our weather source, we want to change one of our programs to be a weather adjusted program. So click program, select the satellite, click OK, and then change program A, which is our weekly program to be a weather source ET. Next, we need to change our landscape information. In order to do this, we need to set our plant material and soil type and adjust the MAD details as you see fit. The default values are often the best. Click OK. Click OK. After we've done that, click on Configure and click Edit Configuration and Stations. Now that we've set up the program to be a weather-adjusted program, we need to select the weather source available. When you click this button here, it will show you all of the weather sources you have set up. Click OK. And now click Program. The third component of setting up a weather-based program is your base runtime. Click this box for your base station runtime. A comprehensive library of all Rainbird irrigation devices are preloaded. We can select our spray nozzles, adjust the pressure, the sprinkler arc, and the radius as well. All of this is driving to a projected runtime. Now click OK. This will adjust and compute your base runtime and your forecasted runtime will be based off your weather data. Go ahead and click OK. Now you've set up your program to run off weather using the IQ Global Weather Source. One final step is to set up an auto contact time to retrieve weather data daily. Click Auto Contacts, select your weather source, and select the time in which you want to do it. You can do it hourly or set up custom times.